All right, we are live here from the 2022 Wisconsin State Championships here in Appleton at the Mad Apple. I want to thank our sponsors, Balance Studios, American National Bank, A&B Process Systems, Johnson's Bakery, Holmes Automotive Recycling, and our main event sponsors, Good Nature Evapor. For open singles and for open doubles, Cross Country Mortgage. All right, guys, we've got an expert singles final here. Uh, Mike Wierowski is playing Tristan Yu. I think I'm saying that right. Both these guys are great players. Tristan's got the king seat. Mike is coming from the loser's bracket. He's going to have to double dip. Mike's a Michigan guy, and uh, Tristan is from, I believe, Minnesota. So this should be a good one. Uh, the winners, these guys uh, faced off for King Seat. I'm not really sure how that went, but I, I know that obviously Tristan came out on top. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. Mike actually won this event in 2020, Mike Wierowski, and I think he beat Tristan uh, somewhere along the way and ended up playing Brett Noonan in the finals. Really awesome promotions uh, these guys have been putting together here in Wisconsin. I run the Michigan State Championships. Um, my name is Michael Stahl, and I've essentially copied almost everything these guys do. Um, I look up to these guys a lot, and I have mimicked a lot of uh, their strategy. All right, so joined in the booth with me is Ronzilla Olson. Hi, everyone. Number one player from Michigan. Nice to be here. Back to Wisconsin. It's been two years I was here. Corona was just getting started, like middle of March. Yeah, you're right. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, COVID was just getting started in 2020. We actually left this Speaking place, Speaking of Ron. getting started, they just uh, bumped fists. They're about to get started here. Yeah, we actually... Who's up? Yeah, Mike Wierowski, uh, expert singles final uh, versus Tristan Yu. Nice uh, middleman stick. Something Michael Stahl knows very, very well. <laughs> Maybe too well. One of your favorite passes. Nice block there by Mike. Yep. See how Tristan lifted his right leg when he shot that? I wonder if he always does that. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, and he, he hits his pull kick to the long hole nice. off the post and in. Nice little check mark there by Beautiful. Mike. Beautiful. So Mike lost to Tristan uh, for King Seat. Yep. And Mike said he was up in the in the final game, what, 4-2? Had like five shots to win it. Oh, wow. And uh, lost the match. So he, he just uh, has to stay confident. He said he... Uh, he tried to find the easy way out, and he knows better. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like totally trying to valid. dink or whatever he did. I don't know. Probably something in, inside or something like that. Yeah, Mike. Mike's going to have to come out uh, pretty strong here with an effort in this first set. And so far, so good. Yeah, Tristan, tons of talent. I don't know. I've never played him. But just watching this pull shot, oh, pro-level yeah. pull shot. Absolutely. See how he put, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but how he puts his hip into it. People at home watch that. That's where the power comes from. That's right. It's all in the hips like Happy Gilmore, baby. <laughs> yeah. Nice block here by Mike. He's going to set that push up and look for that slider or come across to that pull shot look and, and maybe do a slider from that side too. He does have a nice uh, two to five series also. He so does. He may go to that. Yeah, in preparation for this tournament, me and Mike, we've played a ton, and mostly singles. Oh, good. So, um, I actually, I won pro singles in Kentucky this year, uh, a couple months ago. Yeah. And I, I'm honestly saying it's because I played him so much. Oh. Yeah, you've been doing really well in singles. Just won open singles at the Arnold. Yeah, that was cool, Columbus. man. 
and Michigan State, what, last November? Open singles champ. In October, yeah. October. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of Michigan States, we are running this tournament again. Uh, for Excellent. The, the second year. First weekend of October, mark your calendars. We're looking for a new and better venue. Um, it's going to be a 10 grander. I liked the venue. I didn't like the hotel. The hotel wasn't great, Ron. Um, yeah, it I had to switch rooms three times and then gave up. Yeah, I mean, just with COVID and everything and, and then being understaffed, it was it was pretty rough. Yeah, check-in took two hours. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough. So, yeah, we've been to a lot of tournaments. We know what to expect at hotels. and Yeah, exactly. It just wasn't it wasn't right. It was cheap, I and that's why it was cheap. I the tournament room, though. The oh. tournament room was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was enough space. It was rain well, I think. Um, I think 20 years ago, that was a top star hotel or whatever. Yeah, top. yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Mike's uh, 4-0 in this first game here, coming out really strong with an effort. Tristan kind of fumbles it to his three bar, looking to get on the scoreboard. And so uh, from what I've seen, Tristan's trying to go inside quite a bit. Yeah. And he does again, right? Yeah. But he gets this one. So Mike dove out on the long for that one, which I don't blame him. You know, he's got to figure he's got to go long at some point, right? Yeah. No, absolutely. And at 4-0, what better time to uh, test the waters? Exactly. That's a good point. That's and a good it's perspective over. on it. Yeah, first game. dead bar? Was that a dead bar? Uh, it looked like it went off the post. I know. I think it went around, and Tristan was out there with that goalie. He hit it. Yep. Nice I've been shot, shooting Mike. the pole shot on Mike a lot. So yeah. he's had a lot of practice against the pole good. shot. At one time, you get he you were he was giving you the middle you like. Yeah, I was. And it, now, what's he doing? Switching up. Yep, I have to I have to do some different things against Mike now. Um, but if if I get him in, in the race, I, I generally will try to go one inch. Okay. Yeah, I just get around the two bar. Yep. Nice All little right. effort there by uh, Tristan. Not sure if yeah, it was on tic -tac, purpose. Yeah, tic tac. I think it was tic tac. Second man, angle up, split the the goalies. Yeah, I don't know how old. He is Tristan. He looks pretty young. I think he's a younger guy. Twenties, maybe. Yeah, probably. But he's a great player, man. He's got lots of skills. Everything he From needs to. From Minnesota, right? Yeah. Yep. Everything he needs to kind of make it to that next level. He's got everything he needs. So who took him under their wing? That is a good question. I know nothing about what uh, Minnesota foosball other than Skip. At one I time, Skip. when I started playing, Minnesota was the hot spot. Yeah, it was a true mecca. Especially what in the seventies, that nut goody that I think program they were doing like school programs. Yeah, the nut the nut goody program. Um, I think that's what it's pronounced. I just hear Jim religiously talk about it, which is great um, because it was a phenomenal program. There was five pro masters, hall Jim. of famers that came from that program. Jim who? Stevens. Oh, Stevens. Right. The Jim. Oh, was he from there? Jim. Yeah. No, Jim is, uh, I believe, originally from California. Oh, okay. He's uh, in Durango now. So Tristan seems to be doing a little better in this game. Um, yeah. Got the ball in his three again. Oh, straight. Any good player is going to come back strong after a loss like that. Right. A 4-1 loss. And that's a good timeout for Mike. Yeah. Let him calm down a little bit, get this point, fight on defense, try to tie it up. Yeah, he's going to have to play smart to win this match. This is a very strong Tristan U. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. So I see we have the chart up here. How many players were in this expert singles? That is a phenomenal question, my friend. 50, 50 players. 50 even. Rob Balza. Uh, Mike took out Rob to get here, um, which is impressive. I lost yeah. to Rob two straight in singles. I have tons of respect for him. Last I, I lost badly in doubles to him in rushing two years ago. Yeah, actually it was third game I lost to him. But, yeah, he's been playing really good ball. And yeah, Tony He's Owens, a smart player. Tony smart. Owens sitting fourth. Uh, Tony took second in pro singles this year. This uh, yeah, this year. A lot of talent here, honestly. Yeah, a lot of great Wisconsin. players. You know, there's there's a lot of bars. I think that helps. Yeah. I went downtown Friday night, get a couple slices of pizza. There's a bar right next to the pizza place. I look in the front window. There's a foosball table right there. Ha <laughs> Nice. Was it a T three thousand? Yeah, it was. It looked like a cherry wood. Nice. Uh, is that not a T3000? No, I it's not. I, I'm not up Unless on the Unless it's a custom. Come on, right, Ron. No, that cherry would have been a 2003. Yep, that would be an older model um, with the wooden handles. 
I grew up on a brown marble. You know what was sad, though? The bar was packed and nobody was on the foos table. Oh, what a disgrace. Come on, people. So Mike is looking. Uh, Mike got back into this game. He's yeah, looking. what I say? He had to convert and then play defense, get that next point. Yeah, he's been really hustling this weekend, both in doubles and in singles. He's been playing really good. He played awesome for me in pro doubles. We just couldn't get it done. He he's his goalie game has gotten so much better in just a couple years. I lost a tough match earlier, eight six fifth game to Brian Bratz. Played great. Mike played phenomenal. I played like junk. I didn't shoot well, but Mike just was able to uh, keep me up all the way up to the fifth game. Yeah, that's awesome, man. He's uh. He's quite, quite the player. Yeah, Don Shalifel walks Came up. by, distracted me. Sorry, everyone. He literally fist bumped us through the, the glass <laughs> window. What a champion. Don is one of my heroes, man. Um, hey, they got a nice booth here now. I was here two years ago. Oh, None yeah. of this was built. Now it's actually like a sound booth. It's pretty we're, sick. We're glassed in here. Yeah. It's pretty sick, man. I love what they're doing here. They, Teddy uh, and Matt. And originally, this was for billiards, right? They still, I think, do live streaming for billiards here. Um, I don't think this is for the foosball. No, center. generally it's not. We're borrowing they, it. They play, it's a big hub for a pool here. Yeah, like Mad pro Apple. players and stuff. Yep, and yeah. Teddy, Teddy's working on getting a fourth table here. Foosball table. Excellent. Teddy got this started here. I was just talking to his friend Scott today Yeah. about what the day they came in for lunch and started talking to the manager about foosball. Next thing you know, they got a table in, then a two, and started a DYP. And now we're having the Wisconsin State Championships here. Isn't how, that, how many tables now? Isn't that beautiful? Are here? 25 tables, Ron. Nice. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, Ron. So uh, we keep getting away from the match here, but Mike was down 2-0 in this game, and now he's up 4-2. Had a shot to, win the, to close it out the first set and got blocked. He... Dumps it up the table, gets it back on his three. Hey, Mike. I was would in expect this... a timeout here, but maybe not. Mike was in this very position, Ron. And for King's he, he strokes it, nice. and he tried to do a cheap First set inside. Obviously, I'm going to root for my partner here, my open doubles partner. Yeah, we're both a little biased, Ron. Yeah, it's not really fair. Sorry, but Tristan. Tristan is a great player. He seems like a nice guy too. No, he yeah, absolutely is. It especially easy. for being from Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Just yeah, te just easy. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a great player. He's like I said, he's got everything he needs to even be a master. Like even you know? right now, you look at what's he doing he's between got games, between sets. Yeah, he's on the table working out what he feels wasn't wasn't there. What what wasn't working right? He, look, he's even working on defense. Yeah, that's awesome. He knows where he needs to to take this match. I've only try seen to. that once before. Somebody practiced defense. Justin Shaw. <laughs> They'll do it for minutes at a time. I know. I've seen it. I've played with Sean. With his feet seven feet apart. I don't know how. I yeah, He's got them. Literally seven and a half feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Shaw took second at Worlds in Elite Doubles. Oh, really? And uh, he was literally the funnest dude to play with. Yeah. I've played with him and played against him. He's tough. You guys do any good? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, it's been like 20 years. Maybe 15 Oh, wow. I can't remember what we played. I know you're a world champ, Ron, right? Yeah. Uh, Semi-pro doubles, 2005. Elite singles, what, 2016? 2016. That's it. Was it the year that I won pro doubles? I believe so. No, that might have been the year before. Yeah, you must have won it in 2015. Something like that. Nice straight by Tristan. Tristan, starting out set number two. They didn't take too long. No, they didn't. He's ready to get back into it, and so is Mike. Oh, Mike misses his bounce pass, but gets it back off of Tristan's back wall. Yeah, it's good for Tristan. Sets up his, his pull. Oh, nice split. Yeah, that was nice. It looked like a lot of straight there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, Tristan actually. Beautiful tic-tac high lane by Tristan. Sets, open. He sets up that pull so fast. He does. That's beautiful. What I was going to say is that first possession being a straight is a big deal because you can open up a lot. Off yeah. Yeah. Mike's fast and tends to like to race. So if Tristan wants to get him off of that straight, he just has to make a move. Any little mo twitch or anything, and I bet you he could pop that straight. Yep. 
Mike's fast though, got Mike. really fast hands, and I've seen him shut down just doing a pull, uh, uh, just doing a race D on pull shooters. Yeah, I talked to Mike. He is generally doing it. He's bobbing a bit, but yeah, he's he was trying to do a race there. Good call for a timeout. Three one. I talked to Mike after the king seat match, and he was saying that he he definitely still wants to win. Um, yeah, he's he's got a fire in his belly. But he said that he's he's pretty much overplaying expert. S speaking of which, yeah, this is probably if he, regardless of if he wins his last expert singles, he won that expert title here two years ago, yep. and double dipped to get that. Uh, Brett Nguyen. Yep. Yep. He's here this weekend. Yeah, he's one of the main promoters uh, to make this tournament happen. So thanks, Brett. Yep. Good guy. Nice time out by Mike. Yeah, uh, comes back. The three two point I, I tell people I think is the biggest swing point of a game. It is. And, and here's uh, another point. Three three. Because four two, that's tough. And Mike's in it now. All he has is he's one play away from getting back advantage to this game. One steal, one anything. A block. Just get possession. And you not, you technically have advantage back. Nice off the wall down by uh, Tristan. Lifts Tries straight. straight, yep. Which like, is what he did when I, when I was talking about. He made a movement before doing the straight with that big lift. Yeah. Trying to get him to jump off of it. Mike tries that check mark, comes off the table, goes back to Tristan on the two. He's going to put it back into play. Tables are playing pretty good this weekend, but I am yeah. noticing a lot of balls bouncing off the table. Yep, they are. If you don't have the ball set up shooting the snake like pretty far out on the toe, it's going to bounce. That match I lost, I don't know how many blocked shots on my three landed on his three yeah. like an aerial pass. Yep. I'd rather go off the table. <laughs> yeah, right. Tristan's got a chance to win this game here, Ron. Yeah. 4-3 and... Uh, Timeout, Tristan. It's a smart timeout. I like that. Makes Mike think a little bit about his squandered opportunity to go 4-3. <laughs> but but you see Mike, he's shaking it out right now. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a champion. He really is. Mike was a wrestler. Yep. He was a wrestler in high school. Yeah, and he, was, he had an incredible record. Oh, really? Yeah, like 100 wins, 3 losses, something really? like that. Really? I didn't know that. I don't, I shouldn't, it's something crazy like that. Nice pull I kick asked there him by Tristan. Time. And, well, anyway, point of that is he knows how to win. Yeah. He knows how to be a champion. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I like to play with Mike. Um, he's he's strong mentally. Tristan's got a chance here, Ron. Uh, yeah. To, to win this. Took the first game. To win this tournament. Expect Mike to come back strong. Beautiful. Off the wall, up through the lane. That's his bread and butter. With a nice hover over it first. Look for a split here. And you're right. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think it was a three-quarter split. That was. Though. Yeah, it was long. Tristan, great five-bar ball control. I'd like to see a barn burner third game here, Ron. And he did that second man shot again yep. by Mike. Mike. When I when I play Mike, I like to do those things, kind of to mess around, get under his skin. Yeah. He doesn't like to put a hand in back when you got it on the five bar. Right. And, you know, Billy either. Pappas doesn't do it either. I don't either. I do the same way. So, I mean, it's kind of the philosophy you want to take. Yeah, no, absolutely. He'll get more steals to his three. But he's also susceptible then to these five bar shots. For me, it's like I'm going to – I'm going to, ooh, kind of fumbles the ball there to the two bar. I'm going to let them try to hit the left hook. If they've got one, then I'll put my hand back there, but you're not earning my respect until I see it. Right. But Tristan's not even shooting left hooks. He's doing slider, you know, brush brush shots. Yeah, same thing. Second man brush shots up through through him. Unless I see some kind of, uh, you know, effort like that. I'm you're right. I'm gonna... And usually Mike will put his hand in back when I do that a couple times. 
but he'd prefer not to. His, I think his left hand or two hand defense on his five bars is strength. Big ball here, three one now. Three one, very good, Mike. Timeout, Tristan. Timeout by Tristan. This good is a call. different Tristan than we saw before, Ron, in years past. More composed. Yeah, men men mentally More stronger. Yeah, really. Honestly, he's getting better. Yeah, he's getting better. Um, he's not going to be expert for long either. No, I really like what we're seeing here from this player. Even though he's down here, um, but he's up a game, so who knows? I'd like to see a, th a third game, and uh, you know, whoever yeah. wants it more. Yeah, w that'd be great. Battle here on the five, and it goes Tristan's way. Three, two point here. So this is where you gotta mentally, really, maybe even a timeout, but this is where you gotta convert dig. here. Yeah, four two. You just need that point. Nice little bounce, kind of down. He's that. That's his a uh, good one for him. He hits quite. He hits it on me. Even when you know it's coming, you can't come off the wall there. It's tough not to. Yeah, Mike. I'd like to see Mike take a little bit more time in that last possession, but right. He kind of rushed it a little bit. Now he's giving a window for Tristan to kind of squeak in there. Right. And he does. Like like Tristan did with Mike in the first set. Yep. Exactly. And so three three convert here, Mike. Pressure's on Mike right now. Let's see what he can do. Really taking his time. Nice Beautiful bounce pass. Five. I'm thinking long, nice, but nice, nice straight. straight. Wow. Tables are playing great. I was going to say. Great that, ball control on both of these guys. That long looked pretty big, but the straight <laughs> hit it really nicely. Excuse me. So that's first time out this game? It does appear to be. Yes, it does. All right, Tristan puts the ball back into play on his five. This is first game, second set, by the way. Here at your 2022 Wisconsin State Championship Exer Expert Singles Final. At the Mad Apple. Oh, yeah, in Appleton. Kind of rushed that a little bit. Oh, I never even put that together. We're in Appleton. That's right. Nothing gets past you, Ron. Oh, he went for that long you wanted him to hit earlier. I was thinking straight again. I, th I would like him to see. I'd like to see him take a little bit more time. I'd like to see him put this ball in the goal. Oh, Tristan tries a one-man sling that comes off the table. Mike's going to be looking at the one-man sling himself. Off the wall. He, he does that shot well. He does. Tristan looking over his options. get Shoots it up the table, picks it up on his three. He's got the ball to go match point here for the championship. And he uh, kind of loses the ball there. Match point, first set, or game point. First set. This is first game, second set. This is, no. Um, Tristan won the first game. Already. Oh, you're right. The so beads. That, yeah, the beads haven't, the beads kind of got reset. And for the longest time, I've been saying, we don't need three beads there. We don't play four out of seven. You don't pull <laughs> the last bead if you win it playing a three out of five. That wouldn't happen so much if one of those beads are gone. You don't need three beads there. You only need two. Yeah, that's a good point. Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> but, Can I get yeah, a you can't tell. Like A spectator right now has no idea what game this is because those beads are useless right now. Little baby Kruger in the audience. Seda up front, future women's world champion. That's right. Waving us hello. She's enjoying this. It's good to see kids. She's a cool kid. Yeah, she's a good kid. She's Teddy, you know, what do you expect of Teddy and Amanda? Though? Oof. Kind of rushed that possession a little bit. It. I'd like to see Mike take I more time. I missed it, but he picked it, got the ball back. I'd like to see Mike take a little bit more time. Oh, Mike. He's on the same timing. It's like two, three seconds. He's pretty good about it. Fixing, adjusting when that kind of stuff's happening. He sure is. I'll bet you on the next one he'll either take his time or use a timeout. 
It's uh, kind of opening the window here for Tristan. Yeah, that, that's rough. Little check mark pull kick for Tristan. Because now the pressure is on. All right. We won a game three. His bounce signature pass. bounce pass. And he's going to set and up a, a front, front pin. pin. Oh, is that nice to see? Mike Wazowski. It was Wazowski. It's way Rowski. I know. He He's Polish. I know you like it, Ron. You know, I was talking to him before the match, and he was saying, uh, "I we talked about having a backup shot if he wasn't shooting his pole well. And we, we talked about if he got blocked three times on a, in a row on his pole, he'd shoot a front pin. Oh, nice. So I wonder if that helped him there. I dig that. Nice second man there by Tristan. He's going to set it up to open the scoring here in the third game, second set. Kind of loses control, gets and away White from him. And picks it up on the three. And a nice straight by I Mike. Like, I like the way Mike's body moved like he was going to go he long. He leans into the table. And then he leaned in to go straight. I like that. Like, it was good. I felt like he disguised it well. I thought he was going long. It's such a distraction. We should get a ref. Gosh. Get a ref, Ron. So Mike makes a I didn't, couldn't really tell. It looked like he went. Chris, Tristan went, went long. Mike makes a block, gets the ball in back, sets up his push. Mike's going to try to get rid of it here. Nice pick up there on the five by St Tristan. Still kind of surprised he's shooting out of the back. Yeah, he's got a good two to the five series. His five has been pretty, pretty good. He just got to get it to the five. That's the thing, though. If you're passing really well, two to the five is always great. If you're passing on the five well. Right. Mike's going to try to go up here off the wall down, set it up to go 2-1. I love in this. that pass. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. I like it when he gets it off the wall. He kind of gets it off the wall. So Tristan's showing him a dead bar defense. And Mike didn't get around it. Tries a shot, picks it up on his five. Nice weave series on his near wall. Good block Mike there. Mike gets a steal. Yep. Wall, wall pass steal. Tries his hover down. Doesn't go. And go, d goes right into a runner down. Is that what you call that? No, that's a Tommy chop. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pork chop right there, baby. <laughs> Put some sauce on it. Down through the lane. Mike's looking to tic tac. Now he's and looking he's front to, pin. He's doing his front pin now. Does that angle through? He uh, he had gone to a front pin for quite a while, like a year or two, and rarely shot his pole, and then went back to his pole now. So his front pin is sick. It both is pretty corners, nasty. Yeah. Both corners. His pull side's the power side. <clears throat> but the push side's deep. Yeah, Mike has really been putting in the work. He's been driving out everywhere to play. Yeah, we've Michigan. been driving down to Detroit to play. If That's you seven hour round trip for me. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Yeah, um, so I don't do that very often. But if if Mike wins this though, my point is is that Mike has put in a lot of time and totally deserves to win. Front uh, um, front pin push side. And look at that recoil. So he's up three one, game three, second set. Yep. Tristan's a little frustrated right now. Timeout, Tristan. You want the homeboy to win, but you also want the up-and-comer to... So to... you are allowed to be coached during timeouts. He's over here talking to Bill Arrakis. Yeah, but you can only be coached by one person. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a new rule. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you can't have more than one uh, person giving you advice. So he can't call timeout, go to another person now? Technically, you can't. Okay. At the World Cup, you can get in trouble for it. Okay. So you're allowed one coach, I guess. Uh, yeah. So Tristan tried to what, maybe three-quarter split. Mike made a block. Nice pickup on his... Uh, gets it back to the goalie area. Let's He's been picking up a lot out of the back maybe that's why he's still shooting he is grabbing a lot on the three bar and he's got fast hands he's the, good at that it's he can old, play the fast game yep tristan nice. with the seven that's a third pull kick this match that's uh, a nice pull kick this series so here it is three two point the biggest point of the game tristan knows not to give him that off the wall up let's see if mike looks wall 
He doesn't. He, he takes his time and goes Into up the again. bounce pass. I'd like to see him take a timeout here. He oh, does a no. snake and gets real So lucky. he went to go push oh, side, man. which was open, hit something, slapped it in. Hey, when you hit hard, though. Yeah. Um, hey, that's how I've been living or playing the game for 22 years. Hey, that's Hit three. it hard. Maybe I'll break the guy and it'll go that's, in anyway. Ron, you ready to feel old? That's three, <laughs> that's three less years than I've been alive. <laughs> and you're still kicking ass. Oh, thank you. Ron, Trying I'm not going to lie, man. You're one of my favorite Michigan players. Oh, thanks. You are. That's nice of you. For sure, man. Here comes Teddy Kruger into the booth. Hey, Teddy Kruger. Time out right now, so. Had to come get his hoodie. So, back to play. Tristan on the three, and big block for Mike. Oh, he's, I, did, I missed a point. He got, Mike went up 4-2. Got distracted. Sorry. Mike takes a big time out here, which was is that really... four two point the snake shot? Yeah. Okay. I believe it was. It was a pretty fortunate effort. Um there's no overtime in this, by the way. No, there's not. This match is point is four four. Expert singles. So I'm gonna guess pull push kick down the middle of the table. Three quarter. I'm gonna guess a push shot spray. To the short hole. Yes. I'm nice wrong, win. but Mike did a spray down the middle. So Mike Wayrowski, again, expert singles champion, double dips. Tristan Hugh. Good job, Mike. He got on his chef hat. He scooped up some ice cream and served it. We have a rule that I'm allowed to hug him if he wins a title, so I got to go get Oh, my boy. Hug. It's about to get sweaty. He hates it, by the way. No, but seriously, he all, hates it. all He's the... He's like, get off me. Leave me alone. All the compliments to Tristan. Uh, dude, if you're listening, your game is pretty sick, man. You've Very been working good. really hard. And I, um, what, what would you say the difference here? I think Mike made some big blocks. Mike, Tristan shot great, but at like on that 3-2 point. Yeah, but four it, two point. He had struggled scoring like towards the stretch in the second set. Was he was he split happy? Maybe I didn't see a lot of dead bars against Mike. You have to hit some straights, some and some longs. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he hit the one straight, which was good, but he didn't work off of it like he could have. Right. But, yeah, I'm really impressed with this with this young dude uh, on the left side of the table. Guy from Minnesota, great playing. Uh, all the compliments to you. Congratulations, yeah. Mike. And sitting there chatting with them after the match, smiling away. Yeah, he's a so, great sport. Good guy. Like, that's that's what I like to see. So, all right, Olson out. 